I guess there are two, at least two ways I might begin to think about this as a problem. Um, one has to do with thinking of the prison in the first place, not as an exceptional institution that's outside the rest of society or outside the rest of politics, but that is in some ways integral to all of that. Um, some even suggest, and Mark Taylor was just suggesting it today, that it is the most concrete manifestation of an, a whole social order that actually extends um, far beyond the, the prison walls. And I think that is a, that's a matter both of um, how we th conceive such basic um, terms as citizenship, uh, liberty, incarceration, punishment, justice as a key term, right? Um, and the ways in which all of these ideals of American political and social life have been um, conceived around and in opposition to um, their, ne their own negative image. And in some way, um, that's one of the ways in which the prison is a kind, you could call it an internal exclusion of, of American politics. Um, and that's a way of thinking about the prison that's um, actually been alive and, uh, and contested um, for, a, for a long, long time. The other thing is um, a more sort of on the ground matter of how many people's lives are now um, affected, affected is a nice way of saying damaged and shaped by um, contact with the police, with the prison system, with probation, and so on. Um, and, you know, I think something I've been thinking about today and in relationship to the public conversation that gets had around prison policy is that we often hear the numbers of um, currently held inmates in American prisons. But so many of those sentences are fairly short um, that it really doesn't even begin to take into account the full number of people whose lives, uh, who have been incarcerated in their lives, right? Um, so the number who have been incarcerated is far larger than the 2.3 million that we talk about being currently held. And then the sort of um, just small degrees of separation by which this system touches so many other people's lives. Um, I am far from having a, um, any, way, any um, resolution to that as a problem. I, th that's not really what I'm trained to do, although I care about it very much as a, um, as a person and a citizen. But, um, but I do think that, that, that we're beginning to see that as the way that this matter gets talked about, right? That um, there, we may begin to see the erosion of the hard and fast distinction between what we call inside and what we call outside.